Hey everybody, we're gonna do an unboxing today. Uh, I'm interested in the um, new craze, and it's really not that new because I've been a long time jumping on board, but we're gonna investigate air fryers. So, um, I got one from Amazon, and I wanna unbox it. And I kinda went uh, median range on the price. I know there's some really expensive ones out there, and sure they're probably really good and everything and there's some that are a lot cheaper than this one so i went kind of median range i think i spent about 120 to 30 dollars uh, for it so this is the chef man turbo fry touch air fryer and from what i understand this one's like an xl model it's an eight quart so hopefully um that's going to give us uh quite a bit of space to to cook in because we like to eat so anyway so here's the box and it's sizable. And of course, it's got a really pretty fancy little lid thingy right there um, that has all kinds of good looking food in it. So let's see, the best thing is, is they give you the instructions right on the top. So that's nice. Nice to know that they're right there. So we'll put those off to the side. Okay, already here's some sort of a bonus thing that I didn't know was in here. Um, these are liners and they have their own user guide. So, hmm, I wonder why we need those because the whole point is, is this is gonna be nonstick and you're only gonna use a little bit of oil and I don't know, we'll see. And here's, here's the rack. So this is the, the base that you're gonna be, um, the rack that you're gonna put inside the, the basket. And we've got that. And then, okay, so one of the things that I thought was pretty cool about this particular one is that it came with a divider. And so you can, it's really sticky. You can stick this in the basket on the rack and it divides the area. I'm not sure if it's exactly, yeah, it looks like it's just going to be uh, straight up in the middle. So it's not like you're going to get to do two thirds one thing and one third another. It's going to be half and half. But I thought that would be interesting um, just to see what all you could cook together. I can imagine that there's some things you don't because they're going to be at different temperatures maybe and at different times, which you could just take it out earlier than the other. But Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So I gotta get a big sticker off of that. And then we got the styrofoam situation. Okay. And that was the cover for the cord. So this is kinda, and I'm short and this is tall. So pardon me while I manhandle this out of here. Actually, maybe I'll put it back on the and get it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> let's do this. Get rid of our box. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So I got it uh, resituated here so you can see the whole thing. This is, it's formidable. I mean, it's pretty heavy. Um, it's gonna fit under my countertop, okay? <laughs> I think I have to think about that, but surely they don't make things. Well, I'm sure they do actually, but it looks like it's gonna fit. So anyway, uh, it's got some stainless steel situations going on and then of course a whole lot of plastic, but uh, yeah, it looks okay. I wanna do a whole different video about what to do with these little things once you, you know, once you're done with them, once the packing is, has un the unpacking has happened. But anyway, that's like I said, another video. So anyway, it's got a good, good plug. Uh, it does have, what do you call this? Hey cameraman, what do you call it when one little prong is bigger than the other? Is, is it polarized? I don't know. But anyway, that seems to be the deal anymore. But, um, but it's a nice, a good long cord. So that's good. Anyway, okay, so we're still looking at the machine and we've got some um, 
tape that needs to kind of come off. I'm sure there's one on the other side. And then it wants me to take this whole label off here. I'm not gonna do that quite yet because I'm gonna take everything and wash it really good. And I know it says that the uh, accessories, which is gonna be the basket and all of these little, uh, the divider and the, um, the tray are dishwasher safe, but I don't ever do that with appliance stuff like this. I just don't think it's a good idea. A lot of things don't go in the dishwasher in my kitchen, but a lot of things do. So anyway, here we go. So I'm pulling this basket out and that's, that's heavy. So here's kind of what it looks like. And then there's another little piece of paper in here that talks about how to keep your air fryer basket in great shape. And it says, do not coat the air fryer basket or tray with cooking spray. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think you get a little bit of oil and you just wipe, you can wipe the inside, you can wipe the tray, or depending on what kind of food you're cooking, you lightly oil your food. Um, you know, they talk about, oh, it only takes a drop of oil. Well, where does a drop of oil go? Like if I have a whole bunch of things, which, you know, like what if I have a bunch of french fries? Do I just put one drop on one french fry? I don't understand. So I don't think they quite mean that. But anyway, I'm going to read up on this, and this talks about how to clean it and um, get it ready. So anyway, this is, so this is heavy, and it's definitely big. I guess it's a quart. I guess, well, you can't really, well, I could put some sort of a liner in it, I guess, and pour eight quarts of liquid in there. I don't think that's exactly what they want you to do, especially since there's vents all along the side. So I can see where there's these vents and they're, you know, they're set to where the air goes up. So I guess that makes sense because it's, you know, we're talking about circulation. So it's got vents on the sides and the, I guess you would say the back because we'll call the handle the front. So anyway, that's, but it's uh, definitely got some heft to it and I'm excited for that. And then I kind of wanted to look in here. So this is all sort of like stainless. And then it's, so it's got, I guess, I don't know, can you see that? It's got an electric element in there, kind of like on a electric stove top. And uh, so I wondered how that worked. I wondered what sort of thing it had. And then behind that is a fan, which again, makes sense. We're talking about circulating the, the heat and the air. So now we're gonna plug it in. And I just wanna look, I mostly wanna make sure it's working. Number one. Number two, I wanna show the whoa there we go okay we have lift off or something so this is the the readout here and we've got it's toggling back and forth between something here so it's set it's preset at 400 degrees Fahrenheit you can probably toggle back and forth between Fahrenheit and Celsius it's set for 15 minutes um, it's got some presets, fish, fries, chicken, and meat. So I don't know why chicken isn't meat, but I get it. I think they're, I mean, they show a steak, so that's what they mean. And then it's got your stop, cancel, and then you've got a minus and plus sign. So obviously that's to probably decide, you know, uh, how long and, and how high your temperature is. So you toggle between time and temp and then, <clears throat> and then your start button. So anyway, um, I'm interested to see how it works. And I was actually watching another unboxing video and they touched on a couple of things, but I felt like there was, you know, more things that probably could be touched on. So in the, uh, quick, there's a quick start guide. That's always fun. Who, who uses the quick start guide? and then never goes back and looks at the main manual. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I'm gonna look because I saw something in it. Because I, I cheated and I looked 
um, online before I bought it, I looked at the manual uh, to make sure that it had some things in it that I wanted to know about. And so here's the big manual right here. And I want to go all the way to, I promise I'll read the safety instructions. So it talked about, uh, it talks about the preset function chart and that's meat, chicken, fish, and fries. God, we must eat a lot of fries, America. Um, but, and it talks about how long and how, what the temperature should be. And then there's a shake light reminder. So it says if the timer set for more than 30 minutes, the shake light will come on every 15 minutes. Okay. And I hope nothing takes longer than 30 minutes because the whole point for me of this thing is gonna be convenience and, and how quick we can get something done, but we'll see. Anyway, um, but yeah, it talks about what you need to be doing when that shake light reminder comes on. And then what I thought was interesting. Okay, this is what I was after. So this is specific to different foods that you might be trying to cook in there. So we've got vegetables. That's nice that vegetables are first. <laughs> and then, and it actually talks about like how many or how much vegetable you're putting in there, what you need to do to prep it. Like for instance, the first thing is asparagus, a bunch of asparagus. You wanna trim the tough ends. Everybody wants to do that anyway. Toss with oil, yes or no, is one of the columns, so that's nice. So you toss it with oil. You're gonna do six to nine minutes on the timer and at 400 degrees and you're just gonna flip them once. So obviously you're just gonna, you know, you're gonna take it out and you're just gonna, you know, toss, flip, whatever you're gonna do, and then right back in. So, yeah, so this is a whole bunch of vegetables. There's seafood, which obviously you've gotta be a little more careful with. Bacon, so we're into meats now. Oh, okay, now chicken is a meat. Bacon, chicken breast, chicken wings. I'm sure everybody wants to do wings and fries because that's got to be what everybody's after, right? It's almost the Super Bowl during the time that this is filming. We're getting ready. Playoffs are happening. So, wings. Anyway, so I'm going to go wash everything and go to work. And later on, we're going to get it together and try out just a couple little easy things that it talks about in the booklet and just test it out and see what we've got. And then later on, we'll, like I said, we'll try out some uh, recipes that we're gonna make and see what we can come up with for it. So anyway, this looks good and I'll report back and, and uh, let you know how it goes. Thanks for stopping by.